One of the industry's broadest cloud platforms. One that spans application services, cloud platform services, and infrastructure services. It's a complete integrated platform and we're driving intelligence at every single layer of the stack to enable our customers tomorrow's today. This is all happening today. So the first ones are intelligent business applications. And these again are seamlessly connected applications that enable organizations and really people to be more informed, productive, and engaged. And when you look at our suite of offerings, we have the broadest application suite in the market today. It's complete spanning every category. It allows us to build preference and empowerment for employees as well as our customers, so we can enable them with more information. We can improve operational efficiency and turn insights into action. It also allows us to, again, embed intelligence into our applications via AI to drive real outcomes. So what have we done here in this space? And again, there's, you know, again, this is about, again, moving from the laboratory to real services we offer. For ERP, we have intelligent AI that's integrated where it can automate discounting based on market financials. For supply chain management, it can analyze what's going on in a distribution network and give you the best freight options or the lowest cost. For HCM, it can look at thousands of potential applicants and based on a profile of employees who've been successful in a role, it'll tell you the best fit candidate for a position. And for CX, it'll understand somebody's buying behavior, what they care about, and be able to provide what's that next best offer for somebody. So again, this is all based on machine learning embedded into our applications, which are now a feature or service that we offer to our customers. Some of the new innovations we do are, are announcing around financials. We're simplifying something that's probably near and dear to all of our hearts and we'll have to do as we leave open world. Right, simplify expenses via chatbots, improve controls, reduce audit times. New integrations with LinkedIn to improve our HCM capability. And again, what's really important for us is when we look at our customer's journey to cloud, you know, everybody starts from where they stand today. There's a starting point. And so we've built automated cloud migration tools for those customers who might be on PeopleSoft or Hyperion or one of our other on-prem applications. And we have many customers that are using our SaaS in conjunction with our platform as a service. And I think this is where Oracle really differentiates. Our platform is that underlying capability of our SaaS. It enables us to connect our applications, orchestrate, extend their capabilities, integrate them with third-party applications. We can drive analytics that span heterogeneous multi-cloud or multi-applications. We can secure across hybrid and multi-cloud. So these are all fundamental offerings that we provide to support the application layer. Next, I wanted to talk about our platform as a service. And today, Oracle has a broad set of offerings across all platform categories. And so what do we offer our customers in this area? So we have the ability, again, to build, to deploy, to connect, and to the enrich the capabilities of applications. We provide sort of a full analytic stack from collecting the data to preparing the data, the tools to do the analytics, to do the visualization of the data, to automate it with machine learning. We automate security, threat detection, and prevention. I'll talk about that. And we've also, again, importantly, integrated AI to deliver the world's first and only self-driving database. And our offering spans all of these capabilities from application development where we can support container native, serverless, chatbots, blockchain, integration where we can support both Oracle and non-Oracle data and applications on-prem in the cloud, analytics, security, we offer many layers of defense, and again, the autonomous database. Now the autonomous database, we believe, is one of the most important announcements we've ever made. Um, and that's saying a lot, I think, from Oracle. And when you look at the category attributes, you know, what do we mean by autonomous? You know, we mean that it's self-driving. It automatically provisions, secures, monitors, backups, recovers, tunes itself. It's self-securing, it automatically applies patches without any downtime. And it's self-repairing, where we offer the, the, really the world's, the industry's leading downtime with respect to only two and a half minutes a month of planned or unmanned downtime. Nobody else comes close to the four nines and a five we offer. 
And when we look at how these attributes actually map to customer benefit, there's several. First, it allows us to reduce costs if we're not spending time with the administration and the provisioning, we can reduce those costs, right? There are real costs associated with breaches. You know, you gotta avoid the actual breach costs themselves, reputational damage, revenue loss, shareholder value, that can come from being above the page fold with respect to breach. And then finally, we believe it allows us to focus on innovation. I can deploy data warehouses in seconds, new databases in minutes. I can shift our resources to higher value tasks, accelerate productivity, and get faster time to insights. That all directly impacts my go-to-market. So when we look at what we've done, we've automated key database functions like indexing, caching, compression, machine-based self-tuning for optimized query performance. We heard from Larry yesterday, it'll actually test it, and if it gives you better performance, it will then implement it on the fly, all transparent to the user. And again, it's self-driving diagnostics for fault prediction, as well as error handling. And we have two main services. So the autonomous data warehouse, again, which is ideal for data warehouses, data marts, and ATP, our autonomous transaction processing, which is optimized to support millions of transactions, workloads, uh, application development, mixed workloads, et cetera. So we offer all of this to our customers today. And I think the important shift we're seeing is again, how it enables our customers, where we can move from spending our time doing lower value tasks of administration, configuration, tuning, provisioning, waiting weeks, if not months for data while I'm getting passed by, to now becoming a data professional, a data engineer, a data analyst, where I can get rapid data-driven business insights. It enables me to do faster time to market and I can overtake the competition. I can disrupt industries or I can create my own. So again, this allows us to flip that 80-20 where most of my money today is going to maintenance and only 20% of it's going to innovation where I can flip that status quo, I can flip that paradigm. Some new innovations that we heard from Larry yesterday. Um, the first was dedicated Exadata cloud infrastructure for ATP. And again, this gives customers complete isolation, no noisy neighbors for high performance and security. We heard one of our customers talk about it today, uh, Cisco. It's ideal for consolidation, critical, uh, mission critical database deployments. One other area that I want to talk about is security. Uh, beyond self-patching, you know, we've delivered highly automated security where we've integrated machine learning uh, into our security controls. So it allows us to detect, respond to, and predict sophisticated threats. We have multiple layers of defenses to protect users. I mean, the identity is a new perimeter with respect to users. Applications, data, how do I encrypt it? How do I mask it? And then ultimately what happens at the infrastructure layer as well. And across all security points, from config and compliance to identity management, to orchestration, to monitoring, to app visibility, these are all based on a single common machine learning framework that allows us to detect, respond, and prevent attacks. So when we look at some of the new innovations, first is a key management offering based on our OCI that secures sensitive data while allowing the user to maintain control of the keys. DDoS, allowing us to automate an attack and de uh, defend attacks when you have high volume persistent attacks that might be happening. And then also web application firewall that in, inspects, detects, and blocks malicious traffic. So there's just some of the new uh, features we're bringing with respect to security. The other area that we continue to invest in as a company is application development. And you know, I'm really excited about combining Java and the code events, where I think in the last year we've reached over 20,000 developers and now have that combined into one event called Code One. Our approach is to provide a platform that's standards-based, that supports really anybody to build. We do automated code generation for easy deployment, visual code building, et cetera. And again, our focus to always empower developers with the latest tools. When you look at how we support building on Oracle, I mean, there's several key things we deliver. Again, you can do container management or bring your own container, use Kubernetes. We have API-based serverless and AI-based frameworks, DevOps processes and tools, 
And then finally, with new technology like blockchain, we allow you to build secure blockchain networks. The third area I want to talk about, and really what's foundational to everything, is our cloud infrastructure, OCI, which is our second generation cloud that Larry talked about, which is really the foundation for AI, autonomous, and all of our other Oracle cloud services. And so when we look at our infrastructure offerings, like what are we focused on? The first is about allowing us to migrate and deploy workloads and doing this in a way that's automated. Bringing your own app development platforms and containers to the cloud. To run high performance cloud native and machine based learning apps in the cloud. Um, some of our, I think we have the spec benchmark record for machine learning uh, based performance. So we continue to lead in this area. And finally, multiple layers of protection and attack detection. You know, so across every significant category for compute, we support traditional workloads as well as AI and HPC. For networking, it's about providing low latency, isolation, and predictable performance. For storage, we talked about industry-leading performance at industry-leading price, not just price performance, but absolute cost. Uh, you know, uh, the DDoS we talked about, as well as multiple levels of security. Some of the recent announcements that we've made are around our enterprise cloud and multi-cloud, what uh, Larry talked about, our core to edge security. So there's some new layers there, and again, a lot of that's also based on our Dyn and Zen Edge acquisitions that we did not too long ago. We announced how we're dramatically lowering the cost of compute, and also have new high performance workloads with new enhancements, as well as new partnerships with the likes of AMD. And we also talk about how we continue to build upon the data centers we have today and expand our OCI presence. You know, the great thing about our technology, and again, you know, I'm thankful for everyone here who's a customer of ours, is you know, it's, you know, you're our customers and it's your journeys. And again, we're seeing tens of thousands of customers adopt Oracle Cloud in different ways. There's not a one size fits all path to cloud. Um, and we're happy to support that journey, however it might shape up.